Hello Stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Go Packers! Woohoo! We have a Packer game against the Bears in Green Bay tonight that starts at the same time I do. Oh my gosh, I'm missing it, right? Don't worry, we have some stamping to do. I can watch the Packer game later. I am going to get my iPad set up here so I can see your comments coming in. I see Barbara is coming in here. Who else do we have? We've got Carol and Rhonda. Debbie's here. Welcome, you guys. Happy Sunday. It is Sunday, September 18th. It was a beautiful, beautiful weekend here in Wisconsin. And let's see, um, the weather was really warm. I was way up north, northern Wisconsin, um, hunting this weekend. And we had such a good time. We ate such good food. Everything is mm, delicious. The company is fantastic. I really enjoy the group that we hunt with. And um, they're just a lot of fun. It's a, it's a laugh a minute up there. They're such characters. Um, Let's see what happened. We did we did get a bear on Saturday. We hunt as a group, so that was exciting, but we couldn't get anything today. And um, it was my mom, me, Haley, Dawson, and Valerie all in a in Steve's pickup truck. So that was I'm like, oh, I didn't know how that was gonna work. Last year with one car seat, it was fine, but with two car seats and three adults, I wasn't sure. It worked out just fine. We can make things work, right? <laughs> it worked perfect. Um, so we had a really, really good time. One of the funny things that's new this year is you know those fat tired bicycles that are electric? Our hunters have those. <laughs> and they're on the back of their trucks and it's so funny because I guess you can ride them down the um, walking trails. You can ride a bike on the walking trails, so you can't take a four-wheeler on them, but you can ride a bike. And uh, yeah, it was kind of cute. We're like, what are you guys doing with those bicycles? Everybody had them. It was so funny. So that was kind of cool. Something new this year. Um, what else? One of our guys saw a moose um, in Wisconsin. Um, so that's interesting. We don't really have moose here, but he saw one in June when he first got his electric bike. He took it out where we bear hunt and um, was riding it around and he came upon a moose in a swamp. So that was kind of cool. But um, yeah, that's something that we don't see too often. And my mom heard an elk bugling and we've never heard that before either but we know there are elk in that area so that was kind of cool the leaves are just starting to change in northern Wisconsin and I'm thinking by next weekend it's going to be just a spectacular show of fall colors so that's pretty exciting and um, yeah you guys I got my hair cut I put it up tonight because it's just kind of a mess but look at how much hair I got cut off look how curly it is yeah I got a lot of hair cut off so um, that was nice. I went and saw my hairstylist. She's just always so sweet. I love to visit with her. And uh, yeah, got my hair cut. So I got all rid of all that ratty, fuzzy stuff that was going on there. Let's make sure my crown is straight, hey? <laughs> Hi, Wendy from Minnesota. And I see Rose is in here and Tracy. Welcome, you guys. Uh, we have a few things going on. Um... We have a perfect partners promotion, and I'll wait until I turn my camera around so you can see that better. It's easier when you're looking at it on my desk than when I hold it up like this. I've also got prizes to award. Oh, and I want to kind of make an announcement. I have not made a final decision on this, but I am getting really frustrated with Facebook, and they've changed things once again. I've been saying this like every week because they keep changing stuff, and... Um, it's getting harder and harder for me to find who shared my videos to get the comments to come up in a bigger area on my screen than this. All kinds of things. Um, tonight I had to message one of my team members, Danny, thank you very much, because I can't find how to download my videos to my computer. The, where I used to do it, I would right click and click on the little dots and then the thing would come down and say download. And that's not there anymore. And I'm searching everywhere. So I'm wasting so much time. And um, 
I don't know what their deal is, but I've, I've had it. Oh, the game starts at 7.30. Oh, that's good news. I thought it started, my husband told me 7. But anyways, um, so I think I'm going to make an executive decision and I am going to switch over to YouTube Live. Uh, my friends Barb and Dina both did that and they said it's been working very well for them. So, oh, so many technical Everything is so technical, right? Ugh. Anyways, um, I do have a John report. So as I was getting all my stuff ready to go hunting, I looked out my front window. I heard something. I looked out my, my kitchen window, I should say. And that's where John's house is. I looked out my window and John had used the wheelbarrow and he had something wrapped in a black tarp that he put in the back of his truck. And I was like, huh wonder what that is like I watch a lot of murder on TV and whatever he put in the back of his truck wrapped in that tarp was very very heavy because he used the wheelbarrow <laughs> I don't know what it was but it got me thinking so I'm not sure what it was or where he took it to but that's my John report for this week I'll keep an eye on things I'll see if I see his wife anymore. No, I'm just kidding. You guys know I'm kidding, right? You know that I'm kidding. But I do watch a lot of murder. Like, we tease around here that if Steve makes me mad enough, they will never find his body. Because <laughs> I know all the things. <laughs> yeah, so anyways, I don't know um, what John was moving, but it was big. <laughs> Ooh. All right, um, we have some promotions going on. I'll show you those when I flip my camera around. I have a couple cute cards for you. I had bingo on Wednesday night. If you guys watched my card class and a little bingo thrown in between, it was super fun. And um, we used the Glad We're Friends stamp set, the Hello Harvest bundle, which we're using again tonight, and the Glad We're Friends. We're using that again tonight and that cute little um, Bewitched bundle with the hat punch. So I'll show you those cards again, just in case you missed it. I will be having bingo, I'm looking at my calendar here. I will be having bingo again on October 12th, I believe. I haven't looked at my other calendar to make sure that's a good date for me. But um, I'm thinking October 12th, it's a Wednesday. I always do bingo on a Wednesday. Um, card class with a little bingo. Super, super fun. Congratulations to all the winners because they won gift certificates and they're getting exactly what they would like. So um, who said that? Lori said something about reading a lot of um, mystery books. Is that what she said? Oh, I can't find it. Who was that? Um, my sister Chris and I are saying hello. Hi, Diane and Chris. I see Debbie Spicer's on here too. Um, I have, I think I have a package that I'm going to share that you sent me earlier this year, Debbie. I think, I think it was you. I'm pretty sure it was you. So, um, we'll watch the replay because the Packers are going to be on. I know, right? Somebody told me today, they're like, uh, Haley, I think she goes, you know, you're up against the Packers, right? And I said, I can take the Packers. I can, I can go on with my show, even if the Packers are playing. So Little Miss Val was a hoot this weekend. Um, she did really well. The bear hunters, of course, just get the biggest kick out of her because she's so stinking adorable. Yes, yes, Becky. Becky just asked about my Packer earrings. Aren't they cute? <laughs> I know, I love them. I am, I'm blinged out for the Packers, I'm telling you. Um, one of the funny things that Val said is somebody, she's really obsessed with my mom. We call her Gigi for great grandma, so Gigi. And Val is really quite obsessed because all the way up north, um, Gigi was meeting us at bear camp. And all the way up north, um, Val is like, CG, we're going to see Gigi, see Gigi, see Gigi. Yep, we're going to see Gigi. So we get up there and she's like, where are my Gigi? Where are my Gigi? It's so cute. And um, Gigi was outside for a few minutes and one of the bear hunters says something like, I'm going to go, I'm going to go take your Gigi. And Val, she like shook her finger. She go, that my Gigi. It was so funny. Oh my gosh, she is just hysterical. And she's completely potty trained. Um, we had a little incident in the woods when she had to go to the bathroom because she couldn't quite understand how to squat down. So she stood up and um, wet on herself, but 
she had her pants down. So, um, you know, getting a child, especially a girl, to pee outside is quite challenging. Um, boys, they're all about it. You'll find them peeing all over the place. <laughs> a girl's not so much. So it was kind of funny and we had extra clothes and we had baby wipes so it just didn't matter. So <laughs> that's good. She didn't have any accidents. She's completely done. Um, we did put her in a diaper to sleep overnight just because we stayed in a hotel and you know or who wants to deal with that and she, her diapers were dry. So yay Valerie! Yay! Connie just said who are the Packers? Connie, you need to get on board. You need to root for the Packers. Okay. We have prizes to give away. And like I said, Facebook is getting harder and harder for me to find my things. They've moved everything. I had a really hard time finding the people who shared my videos. So um, it, it just keeps getting more frustrating. So for those of you that may have come on late, um, I think I'm going to be moving my live stamp book or my live stamp book, my live stamping class to YouTube live instead of Facebook live. I will, <laughs> I will post um, the link for my YouTube live onto Facebook every Sunday night. So you can just click on it and go right to YouTube. Um, you do have to make sure that you're logged in to your YouTube account so that you can comment. And that is just like any other online account. If you have a Kohl's shopping account, if you have an Amazon account, if you have um, a YouTube account, you need to create an account there so that you can comment. They can't let people not create an account because people come in and they could post all kinds of nasty things and porn links and all kinds of stuff. They need to be able to block people when they do naughty things. I guess that's a good way to put it. Um, so anyways, for sharing, no, 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 for, yeah, let me see, um, commenting, <laughs> let me get it together, for commenting on my last Facebook Live, I have my favorite embellishments, the iridescent rhinestones, woohoo, oh, somebody's watching me and the Packers, that's what Steve said, my brother is here, oh my gosh, he's so handsome, I always tease that if he wasn't my brother, I would have married him. <laughs> He's just the nicest guy. You guys would love him. He's funny, but he's kind of quiet. He's tall and quiet, um, good looking, but nothing weird going on. Okay. Um, but anyways, my brother's here and uh, I went outside in the garage and Steve told me I should put the, um, he finally made the stuffed mushrooms today that I should put in the um, stuffed mushrooms. I said, no, I have a show to do. He's like, oh, okay, all right. But um, he goes, you know you're going up against the Packers. And I said, yeah, I know. He goes, those ladies, they'll probably watch you and the Packers at the same time. Yeah, they will. <laughs> so thank you. I appreciate it for commenting on my video last week. I have these for Lois Fireherm. Fairhorn. Lois, you know who you are. I've had this discussion about your name before. I think it's Fireherm. I think I got it right. So congratulations. Yay. Also, another way to um, get entered in a drawing for a prize is to share my video. And someplace on your screen, you can do that. There's a share button somewhere. So I really appreciate you sharing my video. It's what helps me grow my business. So I really appreciate that. I have a brand new chamois for the winner of the drawing for sharing my video. Now you can share it on Facebook and YouTube. You can share it while I'm live or you can share it if you're watching the replay. But I always appreciate a share no matter when you do it. Yvonne Betzel, you're going to get a brand new chamois with a stamp case to put it in. You guys have seen me use my chamois before. This one is been loved a lot. That's what I call it. Loved a lot. But you just take these and <laughs> who said that when he goes, duh, Steve. <laughs> Thank you. Um, you just take these and rinse them underwater. I just keep running it underwater and squeezing it until there's no more color coming out of it. Then I throw it back in my clear stamp case and it sits right on my desk just like this. You'll see me use it all the time. I love, love, love it. So who's learning? Steve's learning. He knows. He knows how important the stamping stuff is. Don't worry. Um, next, 
we have for placing an order. So when you place an order with me, and I always appreciate your orders, that's what keeps me bringing free videos and paying my bills. Um, Bonnie Pleat. Bonnie is from Tennessee. Bonnie, I have this fabulous Encircled in Friendship stamp set that I'm going to be sending your way. So thank you for your order. Thank everybody for the orders in the last week, the sharing my videos, and also leaving a comment, whether you're on YouTube or Facebook, whether you're live or it's the replay. Do it. You'll get fabulous prizes. Okay. Yes, yeah, so my brother's here, and he brought his boat. Oh, my gosh. I haven't seen his new boat. I've ridden in his old boat lots of times, but his new boat is humongous. It's just huge. And um, him and Steve are going up to Suamico, which is north of us, up by Green Bay, north of Green Bay, I think. They're going up to Suamico to go fishing tomorrow. So that'll be fun for them. I will be working. I have a class that needs to be designed and shoot videos and all good, two of them actually. And I have a, um, a sweet project, 12 weeks of Christmas. I should say 12 weeks of holidays are coming soon. I need to get my project designed and uploaded to the group. I belong to a group where there are 12 of us and um, we pick what we want to do for our 12 weeks of Christmas. So I have to design um, a card and a 3D item using, hmm, where's my, oh, I threw it over there. The snowman. You guys know the snowman bundle? Let me grab it. It's super duper cute. The snow magic bundle. And I just pulled this out and started using it before I left to go up north hunting. This bundle. <gasps> super duper cute. Can't wait. So I have to get that designed. But the neat part about it, let me put that back so I don't lose it. The neat part about it is that when I get done creating my my one project with the card and the 3D item, I get to use all the other 11 people's cards and 3D items, and I send those out in a series of, a series of 12 weeks of Christmas. So <clears throat> if you are not um, subscribed to my newsletter list, you definitely want to do that. And... Hmm, I'll see if I can find that link and put it under in the description of the YouTube video. Okay, I'll see if I can do that <clears throat> when I'm done tonight, if it all lets me. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna even be able to download this video and upload it to YouTube. I got, I'm got probably gonna have to do a bunch of research because good Lord, um, it's just been challenging. So I'm not gonna whine about it anymore. I need to pull up my big girl panties and figure it out, right? That's how we roll. <laughs> All right, you guys, I am going to turn my camera around. We are going to get started. I'm just looking around to see, is there anything else that I needed to talk to you about? Um, we do have a retreat coming up. There are still registration is open for that. Our retreat is October 6th is our business palooza. Oh, Shirley has a shirt just like I have. Yay. I love this one. Um, Business Palooza starts off our fall retreat, and then the if you're not a demonstrator, then the Business Palooza you would not be interested in. But if you are a demonstrator, no matter who your team leader is, you are welcome to join for the Business Palooza. We have a huge lineup of business training all day long on October 6th. It's going to be fantastic. We have guest speakers. We're going to be doing videos of like how to do a... Um, how to do a um, live video, how to make a video, how to do all the things. It's going to be fantastic. Then our creative retreat, our fall retreat, starts on October 7th and goes on October 8th. Um, it's going to be jam-packed. There's going to be three live classes, one of them, uh, and and another live, which is going to be a meet and greet with Dina Barb and I. That's always fun. And we not only um, say hi to you, but we show you how to navigate the Facebook group so you can have a good experience with the um, with the, the retreat. I see somebody says, Diana says, your lips don't match your sound. And um, there's nothing I can do about that. That's the fun of the internet. And I'm not sure if it's my end or your internet isn't streaming fast enough. I don't know. 
How do I sign up? Anne wants to know, how do I sign up for the retreat? Anne, if you go to my blog, which is www.estampabuff.com, in the right-hand column, you're going to scroll down and you're going to see online classes. Click on that and you'll find all the retreat information in there. And you can register for the retreat and the business palooza portion or just the retreat. Now, when you register for the retreat, if you want to add the business training, it's only $25 because you've registered for the retreat. And that's all in the registration form. Just make sure that you read through it so you you get can grasp what's going on there. Um, okay, everybody's telling me that my voice is matching my lips. That's always good. We don't want, what were those um, Chinese, were the, the Chinese kung fu movies where <laughs> their lips didn't match what you heard? It was so funny. <laughs> Um, but anyway, so your your um, device or your internet isn't streaming fast enough to keep up with me. And I know I talk fast. No, it has nothing to do with that. So um, it's matching. It's matching in Tennessee. Connie says it looks fine there too. Thank you guys so much. Because sometimes I do have some internet problems. It's not very often. I've got pretty good internet here and I do pay to um, ramp it up so that I shouldn't have any problems when I'm live, live streaming. So... Okay, I think we're ready to flip this baby around. Are you guys ready to stamp? Well, first I'm gonna show you some fun stuff and then we're gonna stamp. Hang tight. Now, if we get disconnected, I'll come back on here. So here we go. I got it flipped around, but sometimes I push the wrong button. So just know that is a possibility. Sometimes my phone flies out of here too and then everybody gets dizzy and oh, good Lord. I have to get this straight. Okay, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? I always like my screen to be straight. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, I am going to show you, first of all, our Perfect Partners promotion. We have six different stamp sets that are either in the annual catalog or in the um, holiday mini catalog. Oh, Sharon is asking, is the um, business palooza during the day or in the evening? I believe that it's all day long, but I'm glad you're asking this because here's the deal. Everything is recorded. Everything in the retreat is recorded. The live classes are recorded. So if you have an appointment or you have to go do something or whatever, and you can't see one of the live classes at that time, you can come back and watch it anytime you'd like. Plus, the Facebook group is open forever. Like, we don't shut it down. So you can always go back to that group and watch the videos again. But the business portion is also recorded so you can watch it anytime. You won't miss a thing. Even the live classes, they're all recorded. Once we get done with the live class, we're recording it. And then we take it and put the link to watch it at your leisure. So that's a great question. I'm glad you asked that because a lot of people think, oh, I can't do that because... I'm going to be gone that weekend. Yep, you can. If you want to, you can go back and watch it whenever you would like to. So um, if we have a troll on here, I know you guys will take care of that person. Thank you, Jan, for telling me that. One other thing I wanted to mention. I notice sometimes as I am going through the comments, I see where men are replying to some of you. And saying, oh, you look like such a nice lady. I'm trying to make friends on Facebook. Message me. Don't do it. They're scummy scammers. All they want to do is scam you. There's nothing I can do about them. But when I do see them, I report them to Facebook and I block them so they can never come back and post anything on my Facebook um, business page again. But there's so many of them out there, you guys. So just be aware if somebody is saying from a comment you left on my Facebook page, if somebody is saying, oh, I would, I'm trying to make new friends, you look like a nice lady, just ignore it. It's so ridiculous. So yeah, Jan said he sent two identical posts. So it's probably a troll and people need to get a life. That's all I'm going to say because I've ranted on it before. Okay, perfect partners. Let's get back to this. This is a lot more fun. <laughs> um. This is only available until September 30th or while supplies last. We have the Apple Blossom dies. And 
the Apple Blossom Dies go with the Apple Harvest stamp set. This is out of our holiday mini catalog. <gasps> Here are all the dies that are in this set of dies. Now, these are called Perfect Partners, Jan or September 1st through the 30th. These are the dies. This is the stamp set. This is a really, really fun bundle. And if you watched me, I think last week, this is the card that I made. With that, I watercolored my apple. These are all the die cuts. It's got the scallop in there. Look at the scallop and the flowers and the banner. And oh my gosh, so, so, so very pretty. So this is the apple harvest bundle. And then... The other one that I made so far was this birthday piggy. And then we have the playful piggy dies. They are also part of this perfect partners promotion till the end of September. And super, super cute. I absolutely love these. They just make me giggle. Here are the cards that I made with those last week. Is that not just the sweetest thing? Now, if you didn't catch me last week, these lines around the outside, that's done with a stamp and write black marker, and I just drew them. I stamped my words and then drew the lines. Here's another one. Um, this one, the die cuts out the present and the bow and also the pig on the um, moped. This one cut out the banner, the birthday cake, the pig with the balloon, the wagon, the wheels, and the wagon handle. Isn't that super sweet? I used the new In Colors um, and their Designer Series paper pack for this. And then here, this one is Orchid Oasis, Tahitian Tide, and this is Sweet Sorbet. And these flowers are in the dies, and this little pig. Are these not just adorable? Yeah, who just, Jan just said she just ordered the apple and the pigs, right? Because they're so stinking cute. Okay, so that was the pig set. And then the other one that I have, you guys, is Yeti to Party. This just makes me giggle, and I can't hardly wait to start working with this. I wanted to make a card tonight for you guys, but um, when I got home, I've been up since 4.30 this morning, and drove down. Lisa, I was up in your neck of the woods, <clears throat> drove home today, and um, I could only get the two cards that we're going to make ready because I was kind of running out of time. I had to unpack the truck and unpack all my food so it doesn't spoil and get the coolers cleaned out and take a shower because I probably smelled a little bit. And yeah, um, Judy says she really likes what I did with the black marker. It really does set it off. I love it. So Yeti to Party is another one that I have. And then I also got the tree trimming dies with the trimming the tree bundle because I just thought these were really cool. Along on this promotion, we have the waterfall dies and also the fresh cut flowers bundle, which is also very, very beautiful. Okay, so I just wanted to run those by you guys. Let me put these away. So I lost them once already, but I found them again. So, oh gosh, I'll tell you, some days are a real struggle. All right, now I am going to get out our first card that we're going to make. So I had bingo on Wednesday, cards and bingo class. And I just wanted to share with you what we made with that class. We used the Hello Harvest, which we're gonna make a card with this tonight. But here's my card in my envelope, and isn't that just pretty? This is the Gingham Designer Series paper that is in the Holiday Mini Catalog. And then, oh, here's another Hello Harvest. I love the dies in here. This is the, we're gonna be using this. It's the Leaf Label and Amber Gem Combo Pack, but that's where the leaf comes from. And then look at the inside. <gasps> this was all part of the make and take packet for the people who took the class and played the bingo. Then the Bewitched, we used the Glitter Washi Tape, super popular. We covered some cardstock and punched out the stars that come with the hat punch. Isn't this just adorable? Yeah, this is the Bewitched bundle. And then here's another card where we used the washi tape and we put it on a scrap and then punched the hat out. And then we put it around the outside edge of a white layer 
Super, super cute. Here's those gems on there. Adorable, adorable cards. Now, there's one. Oh, was that it? Was that five cards? I think. Hang on. One, two, three. That was four. Oh, I know. We're going to be using the Glad We're Friends stamp set tonight, along with the gems. And oh, I see Diane Lindsay is in here. She said it's been a while since she's made a live. I'm so happy that you're here. And look at this cute card. This is that little corgi. These are very popular right now. They're very trendy, the corgi dogs are, but this is a card that I made with the bingo card. So I told everybody that I had one more card that I would be sharing tonight, and that's what I'm going to do now. What do we do? Oh, here's the inside. I love that fan, right? I'm blown away. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Um, here are all of those. This is the Gingham Cottage Designer Series paper. Such pretty paper. I, I love all the colors. I love the different patterns. I like Gingham anyways. And now I'm going to get out all of my supplies. I have my stamps mounted. We're going to be using Smoky Slate Dark and Light Blends, the Dark So Saffron, and the Light Petal Pink. Yes. I don't know why. I kind of had a brain freeze there. Who knows why that happens. Okay, next we're going to be bringing in our cardstock layers. Now, I will have um, free downloads of these projects. Download a PDF. You can save it to your computer. You can print it out, whatever you want to do, but I will have them available. It's going to take me a while to get this video downloaded so I can get it up to YouTube and then get it on my blog. But we're going to start with five and a half by eight and a half smoky slate cardstock, and we're going to fold that in half. And burnish it good with your bone folder. I always like a nice crisp fold. Okay. And then I've got, oh, I forgot an envelope. Hang on. I gotta grab an envelope. Let's see. Oh, I don't have any white envelopes. Darn it. They're all the way on the other side of the room. Didn't I get an envelope? Nope, I guess I didn't. So, anyways, we're just gonna keep going here. So I have two white layers. These are both four by five and a quarter. I cut the um, Gingham Cottage. This is the So Saffron. I cut this at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. I've got a three quarter inch strip here. And then this basic white layer is two by three. And the basic gray layer is two and an eighth by three and an eighth. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do here is we are going to do a little bit of stamping on one of the white layers. And I am planning on putting this at the very bottom. So I'm just going to lay it here so I know where to stamp. I kind of call that a dry fit. Oh, and by the way, <laughs> I forgot about this. This is my current host code. If you place an order with me and your order is under $150, please use this code. This helps me get all the stuff that I can give away for door prizes. Um, if your order is over $150, please don't use this code. You're going to get some rewards from Stampin' Up! And I definitely want you to have those. This is the address of my blog. You can type this in any Google search. You can just type in a stampabove.com and you will find me. And people were asking, where's registration for the retreat? Where's registration for anything? It's all on my blog, right-hand column. Click on online classes. If you're on a device and you don't see a right-hand column on my blog, just scroll down to the bottom of the whatever blog post is there and you're going to see a bunch of links. One of them is online classes. So it's it's not, I, I don't trick anybody. It's not real hard. Okay, I have got Memento ink and I am going to stamp this adorable little guinea pig. Hang on just a second. Okay, we're going to get this little bugger stamped. And again, I'm just going to use this as kind of a dry fit here. There's my little guinea pig. And then I want to make sure that this is straight. And now I'm going to stamp this little sentiment that says, it's guinea be a great day. So little, little play on words there. And then as long as we're stamping, I am going to bring in this two by three inch piece. 
And we're going to stamp the little cat with a crown on, which I think is just adorable. And I think that this is my, hang on, I've got one ink pad that I put too much ink in, and I think that's it. So let me try this one, because it's looking kind of gloppy. I don't like that. Let's see if this is better. Yeah, this doesn't look as, doesn't look quite as messy. Okay, we're gonna put our cat right up here at the top. Oh, that turned out good. And then I've got the sentiment again from the Glad We're Friends stamp set that says a friend like you comes along once in nine lives. And I love quirky little sayings with cute little images. I just think it's a great way to make um, all occasion cards, really. I'll try to get this straight. Oh my gosh, I did really good. Woo! Okay, so we're going to clean these off. I'm using my chamois and I just kind of squish it down in there and twist it around a little bit. And my stamp is perfectly clean. And I think what I'm going to do, I don't like how dark this is because my ink pad was too juicy. So I think I'm going to turn it over and try it again. Let me set this in place. Let's see if I can do a little bit better with this ink pad. That looks better already. Clean that off. And then here's my little it's Guinea Be a Great Day. I'm just going to put that right in there. Yeah, that looks so much better, you guys. Okay, I'm glad I redid that. All right, let's get my ribbon out of there. Oops. Okay. Get black ink all over my fingers. We don't. Nobody needs all that nonsense, do they? Okay, now we're going to do a little bit of coloring. I am going to color... My little guinea pig, these are super cute. I had somebody tell me that they had to look up online what color to color their guinea pig because they didn't know. And I'm like, I've never had a guinea pig either. We had a hamster, but never a guinea pig. So I just didn't want to make that big of a commitment. I was willing to do a little rat type animal. <laughs> we had dogs, we had dogs and cats all the time, so. Um, Haley did have a little hamster and she accidentally squeezed it to death. That's probably more information they needed to know. It's kind of like, I felt really bad, but things happen, right? <laughs> Poor little guy. But yeah, we had, we had the hamster. Um, so that was the dark and now I'm going to come in with the light and make sure you leave that petal pink inside that ear because it does look pretty cute. I'm just going to keep blending until it doesn't look like I have two different colors here that are so stark. I love these blends. I just love them. Like I feel like a rock star artist when I use these and I'm not going to lie and I'm not that great at, at making all the different things. Oh my gosh, did you bring me one? Okay. Now don't get anything on my stuff. Look at you guys. Look at, he brought me a stuffed mushroom. I told them you were gonna make them. <gasps> oh, I can't wait to eat that. Thank Connie for the cootie. Yeah, Connie, thanks for the cootie. He used that in the stuffed mushrooms. So there, I told you he was gonna make them, right? Oh my gosh. It's nice to have a chef in the house. Woohoo! Oh, Lynette had a long-haired guinea pig, and his name was Cousin It. Oh, my gosh, that's too funny. You know, along the lines of Cousin It, when we were at our hotel, they didn't have much for, come on, they didn't have much for channels. So we were watching the Beverly Hillbillies, and it was so funny. And you know what was really funny about it, you guys, is my daughter had no clue what that was. Like, she had never watched them before, and I just thought that was so funny. She didn't know who Jethro and Ellie Mae was or Granny or any of those people, and I just thought that was hilarious. I'm like, you don't know who the Beverly Hillbillies are? Mr. Drysdale, really? <laughs> but yeah, I loved the Beverly Hillbillies. We used to always watch them. Okay, here goes our cute little inside. Isn't that just adorable? That little extra with the designer paper down here. It's just a really great way, you guys, to use um, up your strips of designer paper. Did the Packers start? Yeah, they did. Did they get a touchdown, Diane? You guys keep me informed. Okay, next up, 
we're gonna take our other white layer and the gingham. This is cut at three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue to that and put it on this white layer. And I turned it over because there, I can see my cutting edges. My blade must be getting a little dull on the other side. I could see that it had like raised edges on that side. So I just turned it over. We're gonna just keep going. It's not a big deal, right? And I can cover it up. We can always fix stuff in stamping. Well, most of the time, sometimes not so much. <laughs> you guys remember the candy corn that um, Mary drew on the inside of her card because she got a smudge on it? Like that's genius. That's just a genius move. Okay, now what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that saffron and we're gonna color this cute little kitty Field goal, no touchdown, but they got a field goal. So um, you guys know Molly, right? My granddaughter, Molly, her family, her dad and her sister and her are huge Bears fans. Like my son-in-law is, his whole family are just insane Bear fans. Like they're crazy about the Bears, which is very cool. Cause I think, I think everybody needs something to be passionate about. I'm passionate about stamping. I'm passionate about my family. I'm passionate about hunting, um, and I like the Packers. I'm not going crazy over them, but I don't know. I'm just not that big into stuff like that. I don't have any musical um, band or individual that I'm like, oh, my gosh, I would love to meet them. I don't know. I just like, yeah, whatever. I'm, I just don't. That's not a passion of mine. Passion of stamping. But anyways, they're very, very passionate about their bears. And so the bears playing the Packers is a pretty big deal because I think there's a lot of crazy going on over at their house tonight. <laughs> I would love to be there to see it. <laughs> okay, so that was the dark, smoky slate. And I'm going to come in now with the light. And we're going to get rid of those stark lines that separate the light from the dark and then it looks like I'm a master artist and I have shaded like artists do only it's Kelly with her markers <laughs> not to be fooled but it is pretty spectacular <laughs> and anybody can do this anybody can keep coloring over the same area anybody that's what I love about these so if you don't have any Stampin' Blend, these are alcohol markers, you need to get some. And I would really recommend, like, I use the grays a lot. Pick your favorite if it's a bright color. Pick your favorite in a red or a blue. Get green for your foliage. But yeah, I just, I absolutely love these. Okay, now we're going to take that and we are, where did my comments go? There they go. Did we, did I catch anything? Jennifer, our group did get one bear yesterday and it was 289 pounds or something like that. Haley was very close to winning the pool. We always have a pool and guess the weight. And I guessed 299, so I was pretty close too, but it was like 289 pounds, which live weight, it was, I don't know, about 350 maybe, I don't know. I'm not good at all that. Okay, I need some dimensionals, but we did get one. Had a great time, ate some fabulous food, laughed around the campfire with some just amazing people. I love our crew, and I just feel very fortunate to have a really great group of people to be able to have fun with. Yeah. And watch their babies grow up. Like, everybody brings their kids. It's just a really neat place very friendly family adventure. Okay, so we're going to put this. Now, this is a really simple card, simple layout, and we're going to put this right in the middle, and the thing that's going to make it really, really cool, besides the adorable Glad We're Friends stamp set, is these gems. So we're going to pull those out, and did I show you? Let me show you this. Did I remember to show you? This is the leaf from this leaf label and amber gem combo but did you see the inside the leaf is in here too i think i did show that too okay i was like oh, i don't remember all right so now we're going to take some of these small amber oops rhinestones 
and we're going to adorn this fabulous crown. The kitty has a crown. And then I'm gonna grab one of the big ones and we're gonna put that right down here and this one right here. <gasps> Look at that. Isn't it fun? It's just a simple card. It's super cute. This will bring a smile to somebody's face when you send it to them. And you can write whatever you want in here. Very cool. So, so glad we're friends. Now, let me get this out of the way because we have another fun card to make. And... Oh, these go too. All right, next up. Next up on our agenda. So, I wanted to ask. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. This is just a fun little card. And like I said, the corgi was adorable. And I promised that I would make the other card that I had but didn't have time for last week when we did cards and bingo. So super duper cute. Now, this one uses the Rustic Harvest Designer Series paper. Who is in love with this fall paper? Who's in love? Yeah, Patty, I don't have any white envelopes over here, so I didn't do an envelope. But what I would probably do with this card is use one of the gingham patterns to decorate the flap. That's probably what I would do. So just a little, just a little tidbit there. Okay. This paper makes me drool about fall. I th it's just beautiful. I love the rich colors. I love the awesome patterns. And, oh, let me put, this is my, this is my little cheat sheet. I keep that over there so that I know what to tell you guys. I know you guys probably thought I had this all memorized, but <laughs> that would be a lie. <laughs> okay. Here comes our next card. We're going to be using Cajun Craze, a little Wink of Stella. We're gonna use some adhesive sheets. I just had this in my bin and it bent over like that. And now it's staying like that. That's so weird. It is pretty humid here though. Um, and then here's my stamps. The Hello Harvest is a bundle with the um, what is these called? The har rustic pumpkin dies, which are super cool. Let me get all my pieces out here. And here we go. Okay, let me move these things over to the side. Now, one thing I never remember to do is when I have little bits and pieces to use the adhesive sheets because it's going to make my life so much easier, right? So much easier. So I'm going to do that first so I do not forget. So what I've got here is a piece of mossy meadow. And I want to cut out the little vines for my pumpkin. We're gonna do a pumpkin. Let me get some more juice down here in the bottom. There it is. You can see when you squeeze it on the side where it says push, the Wink of Stella glitter comes right down. I don't recommend that you squeeze it over your project because I've had where I squeezed it too hard and it like squirted out. Oh, good grief. But that just gets more down in the barrel. Okay, so I'm gonna do that. Then this is the adhesive sheets. And what this does is it's fabulous for turning the... um turning your die cuts into a sticker. Okay, Dolly, I'm trying to look and see what your question was. Um, Dolly says, not sure what you're asking the pigs. Oh, so Dolly didn't ask a question. The pigs are one stamp set. The animals on the card she just finished is a different. Okay, that's great. The card that I just made is Glad We're Friends. And then the pigs... The pigs are a whole different stamp set called This Birthday Piggy. Oh, the bears scored. Vicky, oh my gosh. Oh, and Judy says this is a troll. Okay, so we're done with that. Everybody just ignore. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is this is just a scrap. <clears throat> what I'm going to die cut here is <laughs> Molly's going to be happy because the bears just got a touchdown. Yay! Um, I'm going to take... This, hang on, see if I can get it off of here. 
this little swirly vine thing, okay? And we're gonna die cut it right on here. So I know I only need something about that big and that's about where I put my Wink of Stella, right? So now I'm gonna cut this to match that. Just that little tiny area that I need. Um, let's see, I'm gonna go with this side over here. So this is the adhesive paper. And now when you order this, this gives you 12 pages that are six by 12. And this lasts forever, like it's a long time. So what I'm gonna do with this is this paper has a slit in it and I'm gonna pull that off. And this is my sticky piece. I'm gonna put this on the back of my Wink of Stella area, okay? And then here's another one and I'll put this on here. So now what we're gonna do is you're gonna take your take your pick tool. Oh, no, don't do that yet. Oh my gosh, I almost messed it up. Now we're gonna run this through our die cutting machine and we're gonna die cut it. So let me bring in my little, um, let me see if I can find the plates for my mini here. And hang on. I wasn't planning on using it, so I gotta figure out where my, oh, here they are. All right, so here comes my little mini die cutting machine. These are really cute. <laughs> I like them. And they work great when you just have something small that you're making. So we're gonna take this, and remember, our adhesive sheet is on the back. And we're gonna put plate number one, plate number two, and then we're gonna put in our die and our card stock and then another number two. And now we're gonna die cut this. Now these are especially nice if you're traveling and you're, you, know, you don't have any real big dies to do, you're going to a crop or something like that. They work and everything comes in here, everything you need to be successful with your die cutting. So here comes our little vine and my my messages went again, way, way again. Mickey says, what I want to know, the two cards Kelly made of the pigs from the same, same stamp set. Well, I think I only made one card with the pigs, Mickey. And, oh no, I'm sorry. I made three cards, you're right. This is from the same stamp set. The whole, all of it is from the piggy, this piggy birthday, okay? And the dies. So we've got the stamp set and the dies, those three cards, that's all I use to make these along with the paper and ink, but yeah. Okay, great question. Thank you for asking that. And thank you for being persistent so that I would see it because a lot of times I don't, I don't see all the messages. Like they just disappear and then I gotta touch my screen and then they come back up. Patricia says she loves her mini boss. That's that little embossing machine and I do too. Okay, so here's our vine. Look at how pretty that is with the Wink of Stella on it. I hope you can see that in the camera. But now we're gonna get working on our card. So I am using very vanilla thick. We have basic white thick and very vanilla thick for card bases. This is five and a half by eight and a half. And I've scored this at four and a quarter. So I'm going to burnish that edge good, make it nice and crisp with my bone folder. Don't lose that little guy. Okay, and then I have a piece of very vanilla. This is three and three quarters by five. I have mossy meadow that is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. So it's just an eighth of an inch difference here. I am going to take three pieces of the designer series paper. Um, these are one by four and a half, all three of these. Now, Vicki is one of my team members and um, I showed this card the other day, last week at our team meeting. We have a virtual team meeting every month where we do show and tell. So we, um, we did show and tell and this was the card that I showed and she wanted to know what size these were. And I said, well, I know they're one inch. They're four and a half this way. All right, and I see Joanne is asking if anybody else has trouble with their mini boss. Joanne, I'm gonna show you a little thing right now with that mini boss. Where did I put it? Here it is. Okay, so here's the deal. 
If you're having trouble running your um, running through the mini boss, what you want to do is you want to stagger your plates just a tiny bit, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. You put your item in here and you stagger them. And that way your machine isn't having such a hard time getting over that first big bump. It's got three and it'll go through really, really good. So, and there you go. It just goes right in there. Now, you know that every single die cutting machine is calibrated just a fraction, fraction differently. And if you stagger those plates like that, I think that's going to make you pretty happy. Just stagger them a little bit like that. Let me know. Let me know if that, if that solves your issue. I have not had any problems with my machine at all. I love it. Um, Deidre said she, hers, hers, she couldn't get her plates to crank through today. Did you try um, staggering? I would like to see you try staggering them. And Kimberly says that her biggest problem is the warped plates. Are you flipping your plates over? Turn them over each time you use them. I do that with all of both of my big my um, die cutting machines. And Kathy says the staggering method is great. Yep, staggering is a game changer. Deb says yep. Um, Polly says she finds that her dark gray plate works better. The only trouble is the handle keeps coming off. Oh well. Yeah, I think you can screw that handle in though, can't you? Try using the number three plate. Okay, so we've got all kinds of different options there. Now, what I'm gonna do with this, you guys, is I'm going to take my three strips of designer series paper and I'm gonna add them to this smaller vanilla layer. Hang on, I got tissue stuck to my glue bottle, now stuck to my finger. Here we go. Here comes one. And I want this to have the same margin at the top and the right and the left. So that's how I'm kind of sticking that right on there. Then we're going to put this little pumpkin layer. Here comes this one. Oh, I should, I'm going to do this one first. That way I will center that middle layer in the middle between these two, trying to get everything kind of even, you know what I mean? Here we go. Let's try this and then we'll quickly do this so we can move it around if we need to. And make sure your pumpkins are right side up, right? Well, that looks perfect, you guys. So that's what I do. I put the top on, the bottom on, and then this one. And now we're gonna add this. Oh, urgh. we need ribbon. Hang tight while I grab the ribbon. And I know I have another <laughs> roll of this <laughs> that is started, but I don't know where it is. And I think I only have like five inches left on it, which would have been perfect for this card because that's about all I need. This is our beautiful natural woven ribbon. It's half inch and I love it. I absolutely think this ribbon is just so nice. It's really soft and pliable. You can make beautiful bows with it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take it, don't put your glue on the back yet like I did, because that was, I shouldn't have done that yet. I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna put it right about here. I'm gonna add a little bit of tape. Gosh, this is always so hard when you put your glue on before, before it's time. I hate it when I do that. But lots of times, I do it a lot, because I'm, you know, I get ahead of myself a lot. There we go, that's not too bad. But I am going to have to, I was going to say lick my fingers. I'm not going to lick the glue off my fingers. I'm going to have to wipe my fingers off because they've got glue on them now. You guys are looking for good baby wipes. I buy these Huggies Natural Care. That's what they're, Huggies Natural Care. I like Huggies. I like Huggies diapers too, but I like Huggies because they're right down the road from us. Their world headquarters are right in Nina, Wisconsin. And uh, when my daughter was young, we did diaper testing for Huggies because you could get free diapers. And boy, I needed those. So that was kind of nice. But yeah, I like Huggies brand. You don't get any lint when you use them, which is important when you're dealing with stamping. 
Come on, lint all over the place. Isn't that pretty already? Yeah, we haven't even done any stamping yet. Okay, let's do that now. And again, this is a very classic layout. You know, one inch strips again, using up that designer series paper. What I'm gonna do here is I have a scrap of Cajun Craze and um, <laughs> Juanita says she took a phone call when she came back. I was running in fast motion like the video was. That's really funny. Oh, Claire says she uses Huggy wipes in her craft room too. I do too. Um, oh, I thought you meant to clean. I clean up my table with them too, and that works really good. I've got Memento Black ink here on the Cajun Craze, and then I've got a vanilla scrap that I'm gonna use the Cajun Craze ink with for this pretty banner. Oh, I love that. I love the font on here. I love that we have a die that will cut it out. So here comes our banner die, just like that. And then we have the pumpkin die, right? Just like that. And then, where did my leaf go? Uh-oh. I'm missing. I'm missing my leaf die. That's weird, isn't it? I don't see it here. Maybe it's under here. Nope. Oh, there's, <laughs> I thought there was one that cut out a solid leaf. Okay, never mind. Remember, I've been up since 4.30. <laughs> it's been a long day. Okay, um, next thing I'm gonna do, oh, I know, I wanted to get that out so that I could, there we go, That this was the leaf I was looking for, thinking that it was a, a die, but it's not. So let me put that on a block. And I want to grab the Mossy Meadow right here a little mossy meadow we got a little cajun craze let's see what we're gonna do our envelope okay so i think what i want to do is i want to do my envelope flat and so what i'm going to do with that is i'm going to take a piece of printer weight paper and we're going to tuck it in this is a vanilla envelope by the way you guys i love having the matching um, base color or or I should say you have white or you have vanilla. That's what I have. And I love having a matching envelope. I always think that's so pretty. So this is a really nice leaf. I love how like rustic it looks. And I'm just going to go through and put that around. Now let me clean this off because I'm going to come in with my Cajun Craze. Well, let's just set that there. We'll see what we're going to do. Oh, the Packers got a touchdown. Woohoo! Thank you, guys. <laughs> I have some really cool mail to share with you, too, so I hope you don't go away when we're done here. Here comes the Cajun Craze, and I just think this is just the neatest way to decorate up your envelope. I'll just do one more right there very randomly. Hang on, let me get this cleaned up and I'll show you what I got there. Ready? <gasps> Isn't that so pretty? I love it. And look how that looks with your card, right? We're not even done with our card. So hang tight. Let's get these closed up. Get this out of the way. We're going to die cut this. We're going to die cut this. And of course, through the magic of TV, I've already done that. Let me put my dies away because I've learned my lesson a time or two on that. And we're going to grab the bronze Stampin' Blend marker and I'm going to color in just the stem on my pumpkin. I just think it looks a little funny not being colored. So we're going to get that colored. And now... Where did everything go? <laughs> Gosh, that I'm telling you guys, that stuffed mushroom is smelling pretty good. Well, I don't know where everything went. <laughs> I swear to God, I could lose my head if it wasn't attached. I just found what I was looking for. Don't worry. Okay, uh, dimensionals. We're gonna do some dimensionals here. 
I'm going to take dimensionals and put them on the back of my pumpkin. I'll do one here, one here, and one here. And have you guys started using your take your pick tool to pick off the backs yet? I always struggle with those because I have acrylic nails. <laughs> Connie says eat the mushroom. <laughs> I can't, Connie. <laughs> Eating candy corn while I'm doing a class is fine, but um, eating a whole stuffed mushroom, that would not, no. My mother would frown upon that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so I put that on dimensionals. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm just gonna put a little bit of glue on the middle of my banner and I'm gonna center that on my pumpkin, okay? And then here comes that Wink of Stella vine, which I think is just so stinking cute, you guys. And remember, we made it into a sticker with our adhesive paper. So now what you do is just take your take your pick tool and you kind of pick at the side just a little bit and you can get the backing off. I got one more little piece here to go. There we go. And now this whole whole thing is a sticker and this is the greatest product to use when you are um, when you're making things that have very intricate dyes okay so I'm just gonna put that right down there ha! and it's got a hair stuck to it now it's gone look at how fun that is this was a super oh super duper easy card okay what are we gonna do on the inside um, I think I have another piece. Didn't I have another piece of designer paper? I thought I did have another piece here. But now I do not. Oh, here it is. Here it is. I think I'm going to go. Okay, so what do you guys think? Should I go with this side on the inside? Or should I go with the black, which kind of goes with that black? What do you guys think? You tell me. And this, again, is another um, all-occasion card. <laughs> Patricia says she won't tell on me. Should I try the mushroom? <laughs> you won't tell my mom, you promise? Oh my gosh, you guys. It's so good. Oh, he's such a good cook. Amber gems to gay it up. Courtney says, I agree with you, Courtney. I think that's a great idea. What do you think? The orange? Okay, I got the first person. First person wants the orange. We're going with the orange. Oh, and Jackie says the black. Ah, oh. too late, Jackie. But thank you. Thank you for the suggestion. I think the black looks great too. I'll show you the black because I did the black on the other one. Okay. Courtney says we need to gay that baby up. For those of you that might not know what that means, her friend Gay likes to use a lot of embellishments and bling things up. So now we call it gay that up. <laughs> okay. Here comes, oh my gosh, oops, let's do this. I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put it right at the end where the banner goes in. That's what I'm doing here. <gasps> Look at how pretty that is. And yeah, here's our envelope flap. Mm, so pretty, right? Now, here's the other one that I made. This was a swap card. I, I, I'm i in a group that we do a bundle swap, and this was the bundle, and this was my card that I made. I hope everybody liked it, but here it is with the black. So we've got it with the black and with the Cajun craze, right? Pretty cool. This one doesn't have any embellishments on it, but this one does. Pretty neat, right? Okay, hang on, because I am going to bring out both cards that I made tonight. I might have just another little touch of this stuffed mushroom, you guys. Oh my gosh. Mm. I should not be eating in front of everybody. What did you guys have for supper? That's what I wanna know. You tell me, I'm gonna get my mail because I have some amazing mail to show you. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. Unreal. I wish I could share that with you guys. It's just that good. Okay, here goes these. I get all this out of the way. I gotta close up my glue. Maybe, I don't know where my lid went. Uh, oh, here it is. <laughs> I just gave up. Mm. Oh, 
Peggy says she had popcorn. I like popcorn. I like theater popcorn with all the butter on it. My goodness, it's so delicious. Okay, I just ate a little bit more. All right, meal time. I gotta show this to you guys. So, first of all, this package is from, um, not Debbie Spicer. Okay, Debbie Spicer sent this to me back in, I think June, May. And I wanted to hang on to it till it was appropriate. Mmm. Thank you guys so much. I'm reading through your comments. Beer and popcorn, Wendy says. Good for you, Wendy. Spaghetti squash with spaghetti sauce and meatballs. Oh, Margaret, that sounds very good. Vicki, you're welcome for the measurements. <laughs> It wasn't in my office. I knew they were one inch, but I didn't know exactly how long they were. Okay, so these are stress balls that are candy corn. Super cute. This is all from Debbie Spicer. I got some Nips chocolate parfait, and I've been saving these until I could show them to you guys. I got the candy corn murder. How funny is that, right? Here's some more stress balls. Who's going to be getting stress balls? Um, I think you guys are. <laughs> and then she sent me this cute, oh, hang on, I gotta, I gotta open this up so I can get this thing out. Here, here we go. Oh, I am going, Valerie is going to get the biggest kick out of this. I think I'm going to put this in my front window. Look at I think this is like a little hair deal. Does this stick on here someplace? Oh no, this is a little hair ribbon thing, I think. But look at how cute this is. Oh, I bet you this goes at the top right here. And this is the string that hangs this giant wooden candy corn. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh. I couldn't wait, Debbie Spicer, to share this with everybody. But what a fun little package. I was just so thrilled to get this. I think these are so funny. Squeeze them. Yeah, I should get one out. You guys remember this, right? I didn't give this away yet. <laughs> I love you more than candy corn. Love it. But yeah, here's a little stress ball. I'm going to put that right there. I just think these are so cute. And I think this is going to be a cute book too. So we're going to leave that over there. Put all this back in here so I can show you the rest of my mail. So, um, I got another package this week, and this is just so funny. Everything in it is funny. So I'm gonna first. I'm gonna show you the card. This is coming from Andy Acristo. She's on my team, and she makes beautiful, beautiful cards. Look at this taco. Talk about awesome. Look at all the detail in that taco. Is that not the craziest little thing ever? I just giggled when I opened it, and um, she said that she's so. Oh, the, uh, the rest of it she saw at a craft fair on some wood shapes and she thought, why not make one out of paper and then thought candy corn shapes and then thought of Kelly. Of course, why wouldn't you? Because I love my candy corn. <laughs> so anyway, she said, hope you enjoy these calorie free candy corn characters. And here we go. Look at them. <gasps> How cute are these you guys? They're just so precious. Yeah, so Anne made these for me. And I'm going to hang these up too. Valerie is going to get the biggest kick. I love the red blood on the fangs, right? Aren't these cute, you guys? Just so super cute. And then I got this. Look, these are one of those leaves from that leaf and gem set. Got this. Oh, oh yeah. I ate, I ate one of these already. Werther's Originals in the Caramels and the Hard Candies. And this was one of our um, ombre bags. But yeah, look at This is what a cute way to wrap a little bag. This is one of those types of things where if you're meeting a friend at work, or I mean, if you're meeting a friend for lunch and, you know, it's their birthday or something or you haven't seen them in a long time, you could make them a fall. Look at You could make them a fall card. And you could make a little treat like this and put some little candies in it. 
and take that with you to lunch. Like, isn't that just the sweet? They're going to be like so touched by that. Use your products to bring joy to people. I just think it's so important to be thoughtful like that. So, and I love these. They just made me laugh. I can't even tell you. Cute, cute, cute. Here's our cards from tonight. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me here and um, giving me the Packer updates. Not going to lie. I'm so glad you're doing that. But I do have to tell you, I'm a little bit excited about eating this. So <laughs> I will be back next Sunday. Now, again, um, it's very uh, tentative on when I will get home next weekend because I'm going hunting again. So as long as I get back in a, in a decent amount of time, um, and depending on how much work I can get done before I go, because like these cards, I had this cut. I just had to get everything ready. I had this cut, had to get everything ready. So that made it easy for me tonight because I was really kind of up against the gun for my timing. But um, finish my mushroom, Judy says. Oh, Judy, don't worry. I'm going to go get another one, too, because I think I'm going to head out to the garage where my handsome brother Jeff is and my handsome, amazing cook Steve is. And we're going to watch a little Packer game together. He better have a chair set up for me, too, because Jeff is in my chair. And I'm fine with that, but my husband better have a chair set up for me. Right? <laughs> Go, Pack. I hope you kick some bare butt. <laughs> You guys have yourselves a wonderful time. I hope to be back next Sunday, 7 p.m. Central Time for my live class. Remember, I will be on YouTube. I'm pretty sure I'm going to do YouTube because I've had it with Facebook. We'll see. Um, but, and all of it is tentative depending on what time I can get back from way up in northern Wisconsin. So, today worked out just fine. I'm hoping next weekend will too. Have yourselves a great week, you guys, and um, keep stamping. Go pack. Bye-bye.